Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Dev BD. Today I will show you how we can model free landing staircase in ETAPS. Here in the plan you can see a free landing staircase. From this drawing I made separate this portion of a stair so that we can take the grid line distances. Here in X direction we have total A to F number grid and in Y direction we have 1 to number 7 grid. I will attach this uh, AutoCAD file so that you can practice as I have done. Okay, at first we will go to ETAPS, File, New Model, Use Build-in Settings. Here I will select United States. Concrete Design Code, Steel Design Code is not necessary here. It can be anything. Click on OK. Go to Custom Grid Spacing, Edit Grid Data. Grid Data as Spacing. Here I will add Grid up to F for X Grid Data and for Y Grid Data I will add till number 7. Now we have to input the distances which I have written already in a notebook. 5 feet 1 inch. Then 1 feet 8 inch. 3 feet 4 inch. 2 feet 2 inch. 2 feet 1 inch. Okay. Let me check 5 feet 1, 1 feet 8, 3 feet 4, 2 feet 2, and 2 feet 1. For y direction, I will input 1 feet 10, 2 feet 6, 3 feet 4, 10 inches, 2 feet 10 inches, then 1 feet 4 inches. 1 feet 10, 2 feet 6, 3 feet 4, 10 inches, 2 feet 10 and 1 feet 4. Click on OK. Now for story dimension, here I will take bottom story height 7 feet. Typical story height, I will take 10 feet, number of stories 2. Now click on OK. At first, I will save the model. Okay. Here, there is no necessity of defining material properties. I will just define section properties. Frame section. Delete multiple property. Delete. Delete. Now go to add new property. Concrete rectangular. Here I will take a property of column which is 12 by 50 inches. So I will write here 12 and here 50 inches. Click on OK. At, now we can delete this property. And I will take a copy of this 12 by 50 inch column. Add copy of property. Just name it as C 12 by 41. 12 and here this is 41. Add copy of property C 15 by 62. So here I will input 15 and here 62. Click on OK. Now we will define a property for beam. Here I will name it as B 12 by 18 inches. So right here 12 and here 18 inches go to reinforcement here i will select m3 beam design only click on ok then ok again again ok save the file again go to define section property slab section here we don't need this property plank so delete this one go to slab 1 and select modify slash show property slab 6 inches here I will write 6 inches. Click on OK. Again, take a copy of this property and name it as waste slab. I will take the thickness 9 inches. OK. Now we can start modeling. At first, from the drop down menu, select all stories. Then go to AutoCAD file. Here, this is column number 1. The size of which is 12 by 
15 inches now where is the location of this uh, column a 2 grid okay in a 2 grid this column exists so i will go to e tabs then i will select quick draw column I, I need 12 by 50 inch column fine but angle degree should be 90 degree then I will search A2 grid here you can see grid point A2 okay then second one which is 12 by 41 as you can see in the autocad plan and the position is A6 number grid 12 by 41 okay A6 number grid sorry right a6 number grid 12 by 41 here there is another column at f6 number grid you can see here this one is f and this one is 6 so this is the position of the third column 12 by 41 inches finally we have the last column the size of which is 15 by 62 inches and the position is e1 right and angle degree should be zero in this case i will search e1 okay we have completed modeling of columns now we can go back to one story now come back to the autocad plan here you can see the step of the stair is being started from grid number c that means six inches this one is for 12 inches 18 inches 24 inches and the first landing slab is at 30 inches 6 12 18 24 30 okay and the next one is at 30 plus 6 then 30 plus 12 30 plus 18 by this way you have to calculate so we have to take reference plane right we have to take reference plane at first i will go to edit then edit stories and grid system modify slash show grid system here i will go to reference plane okay click on add note that note that we are modeling this staircase between stair uh, story one and story two but when we are uh, taking reference plane in that case we have to add the bottom story height which is seven feet right otherwise this will be a mistake 7 feet plus 30 inch that means we can say 2.5 feet enter add equals 9.5 plus next one is at 36 inch that means that means from this step to this landing height is 36 inches here we have already uh, input data for this portion for this landing right so let's check 6 12 18 24 30 and 36 so what we are go going to do 9 feet 5 inches plus 36 inches that means 3 feet go to add this time i will add equals 12.5 plus 42 inches that means 3.5 feet no need to input the feet sign so that's okay again go back here 6 12 18 24 30 36 and 42 right we can name it as first reference plane this one as second reference plane and third one as third reference plane click on ok click on ok refresh view ok save the file come back to story one or we can model the landing slabs at first so i will go to reference plane one see the position of the uh, landing slab and you can see this landing slab is located as between the grid number d and f and up to grid number three hope you can understand this is between grid number d f and grid three so what will i do i will take clap draw command 
P1, sorry, change the property here. Take landing slab 6 inchy or slab 6 inchy. D, F, and read number 3. Here you, you can see that we have modeled the first landing slab. Then go to the upper floor. Here also D, F and up to grid number 5. So in reference plane 2, D, F and reference plane, sorry grid point 5. Again go to the upper floor which is reference plane 3 or third reference plane. Here you can see the landing slab is at between grid A, B and grid number 5. A, B and grid number 5. A, B, grid number 5. Okay. Now we can model waste slab here. At first go to plan view and select story 1, click on apply, ok. This staircase is going to be started from here. As you can see in the CAD plan from grid C, steps will be started. So here I will model this slab actually. So model a slab here. Ok. Now again go to slab uh, draw command then from here select waste slab here i will take two points in this in this uh, plane then i will go to the reference plane one okay so here i will take two point then i will go upward and select this grid point and this grid point our first waste slab has been modeled now we, we will go to the next one, then go to the upper floor, okay, we have modeled the second one, now we will go to model the third one, so select these two point, go to upper floor, select here and select here, right, we have another waste slab which is for just for this step single one so i will select this one this one and go to the upper floor which is basically story 2 okay and done now we can model a slab here which is floor slab for the story 2 i will take here slab 6 inches okay Now, what we have to do, we have to model a beam here, so that it can take support from the column and beam. So, for modeling of beam, just uh, go to draw beam command. Here, I need to assign the 12 by 18 inch and I will model this beam in the 3D model. First point, first point, okay, we can turn off the grid system visibility, then it will be more easier, I think. So, go to draw beam command, select the joint, then go to this joint, okay. Here I will assign link property after modeling of beam. Okay. Modeling of beam has been done. 
we can save the model now in some uh, location we have to we have to assign link property so I go to add new window here I need to see the 3d view for this side I will go to the plan view in story one click on apply ok turn on grid system visibility here for this beam we need to assign link property okay so just go to define section property link slash support uh, from here i will select modify slash show property fix all click on ok ok now go to draw link command from here i will select this uh, center point of the column and the starting point of the beam okay then go to the reference plane one here i will from here if you see turn of grid system visibility i will work on this beam and this column okay so then go to divide frame break at intersection okay i will delete this portion then what will i do i will go to draw link and i will link this column with the beam okay next i will go to reference plane 2 here i will select this beam and this column again divide the frame now we don't need this portion similar thing edit then delete this one and we will connect the beam with column by using a link similarly we will go to the upper floor here i just need to select the beam and the column then again divide frame apply okay delete this portion and connect them by using a link okay now we have to join the frames which we have uh, divided due to the modeling purpose I, I will start from here okay i will join them again from here i will join them for the last column i will join them now if we okay it's done now if we check the bending moment diagram suppose go to run analysis then we will go to force stress diagram from here i will check moment 3 3 okay here you can see a proper bending moment diagram curve for this z beam and all the columns okay so that's all for today see you in the next tutorial thank you